Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli here to talk about the baits and tackle I used at the Lake Dardanelle BASS Elite event. I uh, had a great tournament, ended up having a very slow start, but a really good finish and ended up in sixth place. Um, and primarily the whole week, I only relied on one bait. That usually doesn't happen. Usually there's two or three or four baits I use to help catch those fish. At Dardanelle, I really got dialed in at the end of the first day on one bait and one pattern. And basically what I fished at Lake Dardanelle was shallow submergent grass. Not emergent, not grass that came out of the water, but submerged grass. And it was a mixture of high drilling coontail in about two to five, six feet of water. And a lot of baits would have worked, but the one that worked for me, and I caught every one of my fish on, was a vibrating jig. Uh, and this is a really cool lure category because you can fish it through a lot of cover like grass. It's got a tremendous amount of vibration and it's super uh, weedless and snagless. Uh, and this was really the key to my high finish at Dardanelle. And I used a uh, bait by Mullix called a lover. And uh, it's a really unique vibrating jig. I used a half ounce size in a black and blue color. And if you look at that Mullix lover, you know, you're going to see this, this shovel lip on the jig. And that shovel lip, that reverse shovel lip, is what provides all that vibration. And basically I would throw it out in that submergent grass, I would reel it slow, and purposely kind of contact the grass. And that thing would vibrate side to side, really hard vibration. Every time I would contact the grass, I would just snap it, snap it free. And a lot of those bites would occur when it freed the grass. You know, the trailer was real important too on this half ounce black and blue Mullix Lover. And I went with a trailer that provided a little extra tail action. And I used a really cool Berkeley Havoc bait called a Devil Spear. We designed the Devil Spear for flipping, but it's a phenomenal trailer, especially on a vibrating jig. And the only thing I did different with that, uh, with, with that Devil Spear is I turned it to the side. I rigged it sideways to really give it a bait fish profile and to really kind of make that thing come alive. And I just tried to match the color. I used a black and blue uh, type of devil spear to match that bait. Online, I went with 15 pound, 100% Berkeley trialing fluorocarbon. I wasn't fishing around wood or rock. It was basically all soft grass. So I went with a little bit smaller line to increase the vibration. On the rod, I went with a seven foot medium action Abu Garcia Veracity. I like a more medium action because I want those fish to get a hold of it before I set the hook. And then finally I used an Abu Garcia Revo MGX in the seven to one gear ratio reel. Really allowed me to pull up the line when they'd hit it and come toward it. I could have all that line recovery. Uh, if you like fishing a little bit dirty water like Lake Dardanelle, if you like fishing around submerged grass, whatever it is, try a vibrating jig. Try one of those Mullix lovers, put a devil spear on the back, and you're going to catch some big bass. Mike Aguinelli here, Tackle Warehouse Vlog, Lake Chickamauga, last day of practice. If you can look at my deck, look at my boat, you'll notice stuff everywhere. Today's what I call cleanup day. We're going to be fishing fast, fishing like maniacs. We're going to be fishing from 30 feet to 3 feet of water, really trying to clean up, put together what I found the first two days of practice. So we're going to fish like maniacs. Come on, let's go.